We're used to atheists and agnostics arguing that believing in God is irrational, but what about arguing that believing in God is immoral? Well, that's apparently what one North Carolina religion professor believes. Let's take a look. Meet Dr. Jared Whitaker, a religion and gender studies professor at Wake Forest University, specializing in Buddhism and Hinduism. An unnamed Catholic student of his recently came forward and said Whitaker would constantly explain why Christian theology is problematic, racist, sexist, imperialist, and fundamentally evil. His point was specifically that Christianity is in a position of power. Everything came down to who is in a position of power and how we can problematize that. Wow, it never ceases to fascinate me how leftists can criticize the very thing they love the most, power. Maybe they think that because they, in their infinite compassion, abuse power, so must everyone else. Anyways, the Catholic student said Whitaker's position was that it was not only illogical to believe in God, he said that to believe in God is one of the most immoral things you can do, and to believe there is an objective truth is the most tremendous evil that is responsible for all the great suffering in the world. That's right, if you think wheels are the best thing to put onto your car, you must be a bigot. And don't you dare compare the values imported or the death tolls of communism to capitalism. Everything is equal, full stop. Now, responding to his alleged bias, Whitaker gave a pretty boilerplate response, saying, critical inquiry can cause distress, but that he at all times reaffirms his students' religious convictions, while asking them to think through their own beliefs with a critical, analytical, and self-reflexive perspective. Well, if by critical he means critical theory, that Catholic student's pretty screwed. What this really is, of course, is cultural Marxism. If my ideology can't hope to make people as prosperous, civilized, and egalitarian as yours, I'll just conveniently ignore the metrics you use and attribute your success to the exploitation of others. And there's the rub. If normal forms of measurement like logic and reason fail cultural Marxists, they'll just redefine concepts like equality and diversity, or create completely new systems by which they can give their own ideas points. And when you don't obey their rules, you better get ready for the ad hominems, just like Wake Forest conservative student Ryan Wolf, who is rewarded for his conservative beliefs by getting called a mayonnaise monster looking ass. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.